All right, uh, this video, we're going to revisit this part. I think it's from video 13. I will put a link in the description if you haven't made this part, but we are gonna focus purely on dimensioning practices. And as I'm doing this, I'll be honest, I'm kind of, I've been advised by a good engineering friend as I go. I have not had to do this very often professionally uh, in the school setting and in some professionally, but not often enough to know everything with 100% uh, 100%, uh, 100 accuracy. And I will also add that I do know that different industries, there are different styles and different standards. So what I would encourage anybody to do that has insight that I don't offer in this video is please provide that in the comment section below. Uh, I try and offer a very authentic experience to my students. And I think anything you could do to help do that would be awesome. So if you would like to troll it up, you're more than welcome to do so. We're using Onshape for this. And I will again make this a public document and make it so that you guys can just download it if you want there is a video on how to make this part one that does both just general rendering which we started out doing for basic on shape principles and the second one covers the build of this block from a design intent standpoint uh, let's move on to our dimensioning i can't wait maybe there is a way i can't wait till screencastify makes it so you can just move the the recording tools We're just gonna go create drawing. Now there's two th two ways you can create drawing from part. You can do what I just did. The other thing you can come over here to where it says part one, right click and just select create drawing from part. If you do that, then you should be able to uh, have this option available. But if you don't, that's fine. You can just select this option. Move Barber Check out of the way. Uh, tired. All right. So this is a square part, which already gives you a key indicator of how we need to dimension this. Let's see. It's also a symmetrical part, which tells you we can use center lines to help with rapidly dimensioning this part. Uh, it's a block. You know, you're going to need at least our length, width, and thickness. Uh, all right. Part one. Let's just select this. Okay, I'm gonna insert my front view right here. I'm gonna go straight above it and insert the top view. And then all I gotta do is click this, drag to the right, and now I have my isometric, or I'm sorry, side view. And then right here is my um, isometric view. And then this is third angle projection. Now, let's go ahead and basically what we are going to do is, let's start with our length, width, and thickness. Now our length and width is the same because we're dealing with a square block. So instead of dimensioning it that time this way and this way, what we can do is double click this 2x. Okay. And oh, I'm sorry, not 2x, be 4x. Okay, and that tells our print reader that we have four size equal parts. Next thing we can do. Is we got gives our lengths and widthness. Let's length, lick, lickness and width, lickness and length, lid. You know what I mean. Let's get the thickness, height, dimension. Boom. All right, and we got 0.5 here. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and dimension. Uh, let's before we dimension those, let's put a center mark on these circles, highlighting the fact that they are true circles. All right, and then let's go ahead and add a center line to this block, highlighting the fact that it is a symmetric block. All right, now we can go ahead and dimension one circle. And what are we going to do to that dimension to make it obvious that the other circles are the similar? The similar. I'm warming up here. Now let's do, I wonder why it's not letting me do that, diameter dimension. You Sometimes it'll automatically click and, and tell you, I think. All right, two, and we're going to do uh, diameter 4x. 
all right? And then we need the diameter for this circle as well. We don't have to include its location because it is shows that the part is center lined. <laughs> I think I'm just compiling <laughs> compiling words to get, to get today. Hey, I always say Shakespeare made up his own words, like can I, right? And then we're going to add the dimension of these two, how far away they are from each other. All right. And then that way, we can just put a 4x here. All right. And that should give us everything we need to do. Let's do a quick mental check. If I was to make this block, could I cut it to length? Yes. Could I cut it to width? Yes. Would I know how thick of a block to grab or what to plane it down to? Yes. Do I know where to locate these holes? Well, I know the block is two inches wide. I know the distance between the holes are 1.4. So I know I'm going to have to come 0.3 from both edges. And I should be good to go. Awesome. So do I know what size to drill those holes once I've laid them out? Yes, 0.2. Do I know where to lay this hole out? Yes, I know it's in the center of two on both sides. And I know it's a diameter of one. Should be able to make the part. The only other thing we could add that we probably should is... Select it to show hidden lines. And then once you've done that, you are done with dimensioning this part. So I'm going to go through. Oh, man, I must have clicked much more than show hidden lines. But now you know that that feature is there as well. I'm not going to worry about going back and fixing that. Link to the parts in the bio. Want to follow along and practice. That's fine. Any questions, just ask. Any insight, please add.